That's right. You didn't read the title incorrectly. We have gigantic channels like Rich Lux and The Viewer's Voice going after a young woman who had only 600 subscribers. So we're gonna discuss this, we're gonna discuss the community, and make sure you stay tuned until the end of this video because I'm actually going to defend Nick Snyder of The Viewer's Voice just a little bit. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community to try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And before we get started, some of you might be new, some of you have seen my face around or seen some of the videos made about me, so I will address it. Is there some bias in this video? Absolutely. The people who I'm going to discuss in this video, they have made hate videos about me, which led to me being canceled a little bit earlier this year. But anyways, if you wanna learn more about that, my new book, Canceled, Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, it's out now. Always link down in the description, down in the pinned comment below. All right, but anyways, we need to talk about this. So. Earth Mother, uh, she's a, a small channel. She's starting to gain a little bit of traction because she made a video criticizing people like The Viewer's Voice, Rich Lux, Petty Page, Ashley Kyle, Dustin Daly, and things like that. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. But there's two main reasons, two main reasons why I'm making this video. The first one is I hate hypocrites. And something I'm constantly trying to do is make sure that I'm not a hypocrite. And I was giving my book away for free for like a month and a half, so many of you have read it. But in that book, I discuss how when I was going through this, when I had all of these drama channels doing a coordinated attack against me and ganging up on me, nobody was defending me, all right? So one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I don't want Earth Mother to go through the exact same thing. Now, don't get me wrong, she's, <laughs> she's handling her own and definitely doesn't need me defending her, all right? But I am going to talk from a different point of view than the hate mob that is coming after her because I, I see a shift happening and more people are starting to catch on to this. I've discussed it recently too, the bias that goes on in this drama and commentary community, which is, clear as day. But anyways, the second reason, the second reason I'm making this video is, if I'm being honest with you, like when I got canceled and seeing other people get canceled, I have been absolutely fascinated by human behavior. Just so fascinated with how the internet responds to things, how logic goes out the window, how hate mobs just start online. I've been so intrigued with it that I've been reading all of these books on social psychology, crowd psychology, all sorts of stuff. And I might do a video like the, my five favorite books on it. Like I've just been plowing through books, but a couple off the top of my head, one of them I just finished, it's called Hive Mind. Excellent book, I'll link these down in the description below. Next one is uh, Invisible Influence, that's a great one. Another one is uh, The Coddling of the American Mind, that's a great one. Like, there are so many good books, all right? I'm currently reading a new book called The Righteous Mind, which is very good. It talks a lot about moral psychology, too. So, anyways, I'm loving it. Oh, don't let me forget, So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson. All right, I'll link all those down in the description below. If you are fascinated by, like, online hate mobs, start reading these books with me. It is just mind-blowing. So, anyways, what happened? What happened? Earth Mother... 600 subscribers, 600, not 600,000, 600 subscribers made a video being critical of these drama channels. You know, the same, the same channels who have made channels being critical of other people, all right? And since then, uh, Nick Snyder of The Viewer's Voice, he made a video response to it, and Rich Lux popped off on Twitter, and he ended up deleting his tweets, but I'll read that to you in a second. But anyways, the first thing I wanna discuss, because again, I'm just fascinated by social psychology right now, like, how is nobody noticing that people are punching down? Like, that is something that we, 
I thought we collectively, like as a society, thought was bad, right? Like when corporations are stepping down on the middle and lower class, right? That is punching down, right? Like this is something that many people have been called out on. So when I see, when I see these influencers with hundreds of thousands of subscribers going after a young woman with, now she has 800 subscribers and last time I checked, she only had like 3.6 thousand views on that video. Like I'm like, oh my God. And the fact that the audience, the audience of these drama channels isn't speaking up like, yo, that's not cool. Like, why are you going after these people? Like, like, are you, I, I hope you're, you're seeing that, you know, although commentary channels and drama channels, they kind of play the morality police on YouTube, they don't really have all that many morals when it comes to who they go after. You know what I mean? Like I mentioned before, like when this happened to me, all of them were making videos about me, getting tens of thousands of views, right? And even to this day, I'm still smaller and I have bigger channels who make hate videos about me. And it's just weird because that used to be something that all of us were against and now we're not. And I'm just confused what's happening. So anyways, when this first went down, Rich Lux tweeted this out. This is my psycho stalker exposed the reason I have security. She is legit sick in the head. You want attention on my blog, you got it. You're effing trash and in my opinion, a racist. Get the F out of here. And it's, it's crazy. I've noticed this while watching different YouTubers is they love to use the word stalker, all right? Like be mindful of the words that people use, the labels they try to put on people. Like Rich Lux, it seems like he pulled this straight out of the Trisha Paytas playbook. I discussed this in a previous video. But anyways, as I watched it, I started to recognize a pattern of behavior. And this pattern of behavior is calling people a stalker and trying to push that narrative whenever she doesn't like somebody, all right? And I saw this, I saw this happen. In the Spill video, she brought up instances of Trisha Paytas doing this to Nina Unrated, to Daniel E. Carroll, to Nikocado Avocado, and I bet you didn't know this, she even labeled me as a stalker. Oh my God. It's, it's kind of just like to the point of almost like borderline harassment, just like constantly coming for us. It's like, if it's not harassment, it's very stalkerish behavior. It's scary. It's like, it's scary. When Trisha Paytas doesn't like people being critical of her, she calls them a stalker, all right? So to see Rich Lux say this, and the other thing that's fascinating about this is Rich Lux and other drama channels, and even my own, right? A lot of you know I've made multiple videos on the same person, but different stories and things like that, right? Like, for, for Earth Mother to make one video, right? Maybe she has a couple more, I don't know. But like, how many videos has Rich Lux made on people like Jeffree Star? or Jacqueline Hill, right? Or James Charles, you know what I mean? Like, what if they said, oh my God, Rich, you're the reason that I have security. There's a new video out there by a creator who I won't name, but this person labeled me as a stalker, even though they have multiple videos about me and I made one response video, <laughs> okay? So I, got, I want you guys to keep an eye on that, all right? And then Nick Snyder from The Viewer's Voice, he made an entire video on this, right? Like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and he made an entire video response. And like I said, I'm gonna defend Nick in just a little bit, but I just don't get what's going on. So again, like make sure you check down in the description below and check out Earth Mother's uh, video on this, but she is just pointing out the very clear bias that's going on. Like we're all biased. The best thing we could do is just acknowledge it, try to keep it in check, but we're all gonna have our likes and dislikes. We're all gonna like, you know, certain channels more than others, certain influencers other than others. But anyways, I'm also going to link down below a channel by the name of Sharita Explains It All. So those of you who don't know, I'm half black, hi. But, <laughs> but anyways, uh, Sharita and Earth Mother, they they're bringing up conversations that I haven't seen people discuss, which is the topic of, you know, um, you know, black women or even black men in this kind of beauty community, right? 
So I've been loving watching their content and kind of learning more about this and understanding it a little bit more. So I highly recommend you guys go check them out, go subscribe, go follow them over on Instagram and Twitter and things like that too. I'll link them down below. But anyways, last thing I wanna discuss is this. So with Nick Snyder of The Viewer's Voice, I've been watching him from afar and like, I feel bad. Like, I feel bad, man. He's, he's opened up and discussed, you know, his struggles with uh, alcoholism and trying to stay sober. He, he discussed a little slip up. It's awesome that he has a supportive community. But as many of you know, I've been clean and sober for seven years. Like, I can relate. I can relate. And when I first got sober, like, I was restless, irritable, and discontent. And anything would set me off. And that's one of the reasons, like, I, I've had to work so hard on myself. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, I still have work to do, but it's much different than where I was seven years ago. So when watching Nick's response video to Earth Mother, like I get what he's saying. Like I've talked about this in a few videos recently, people bringing up our past or things like that, or even what we're currently struggling with. Like I get that kind of, you know, that kind of stings. Like I've mentioned this with many people in the public spotlight. I can't imagine having a massive following and trying to stay sober with that many eyes on you. Like, I felt judged enough by my friends and family and strangers in 12-step meetings. So trying to stay sober in front of hundreds of thousands of people, like, I can't imagine that type of pressure. But I, I hope the best for him on that journey, you know what I mean? But, you know, as we grow and things like that, I obviously can't speak for Nick, I could just speak for myself. But as I, I've grown in things, like I've learned to let certain things slide. Um, when I do get upset, like old Chris still pops out every now and then, and then I try to, you know, uh, make amends where I can. I try to adjust that behavior where I can and things like that. But anyways, like at the end of the day, here's the thing, like, we need more people talking about this stuff, like, and just like having conversations, like, this isn't like a huge deal. I, I'm hoping that audiences from all these people aren't going and attacking people, even though I kind of have seen that they already are. Like, like, we can be critical of each other. Like, this is something that I'm just trying to get through to everybody. We can be critical of each other. We can talk and like say, hey, I don't like this about this creator out there or whatever, like, that's cool. It doesn't mean we hate that person. Like, I don't hate anybody. Anybody I've talked about, anybody who's made videos about me, I do not hate them. Do I dislike them? Yeah, all right? But it doesn't mean I hate them. So for anybody in the community to go and attack people is absolutely ridiculous. Like, we need to work towards having calm, rational, conversations because here's the thing at the end of the day at the end of the day like I, I've heard like people saying like you know the uh, you know influencers are paying off these drama channels I don't think that's the case or not but right now the currency is clout all right so like it, it's just natural we see this all the time throughout the community once commentary or drama channels meet an influencer their opinions change all right, and that's for a variety of reasons. I don't think it's necessarily bad because when there's that disconnect, that person might not even be, you know, human to you. They're just they're just an influencer, right? But then you meet them and you're like, oh, wow, they, they're human like me. They just make mistakes. So I'm not saying it's bad, but just realize that, you know, bias does exist. Obviously, I'm gonna be defensive of my son. I'm gonna be defensive of my family, of my friends, right? So it's just, like just acknowledge that it's happening and just understand when you're watching these channels make videos and sharing their opinion, just know that there is some bias behind it and that's why you, the viewer, needs to be an independent thinker, okay? But anyways, don't forget, down in the description, down in the pinned comment below, go check out um, Earth Mother as well as Sharita explains it all. I will link uh, their videos or channel down below. I'm not sure which one I'll do yet, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, who, everybody who supports the channel by buying merch, like this cool Rewired Soul shirt, or my books and all that kind of stuff. You're all amazing, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.